Welcome to a mess farm. For those who are new to our channel, we are a farm practicing natural farming here in the Philippines. It's been seven years since we started natural farming. It was challenging and it wasn't easy to work with nature, but it was worth it. It takes a lot of patience, hard work, and passion to continue, but here we are still doing natural farming. We are still in the process of making it and we are never losing hope that one day we will become a big producer of organic farm products here in the Philippines and even beyond. It's just that there are times in our lives when we get exhausted and we become impatient. So we get to the point when we ask ourselves, why are we doing natural farming when this is a road less traveled in farming? There are different synthetic fertilizers and pesticides that makes every farmer's life easier and earn faster. But why are we not doing it when almost every farmers are into it? I know you are curious on how does natural farming help prevent and lessen severe natural disasters and we saw the effect of natural disasters it was totally devastating as you can see in the pictures we've shown you a while ago well in natural farming we improve soils health because when the soil is healthy it will be able to help prevent and manage disasters the very common natural disasters nowadays are drought or too much dryness floods wildfires and landslides which are due to climate change well if our soil is healthy they will be able to absorb more water from rain and when the soil is healthy it can retain moisture through those beneficial microorganisms that works in the soil and for those to survive we need to avoid using synthetic chemicals as it can kill them and we have to avoid cutting trees but instead plant more because the more trees we have the more um, our nature can survive. By the way, we are on our way to the farm extension because we already started working there and for those who are new to our channel please watch as well our previous videos so you can know more about natural farming and as well as the information we are telling you here so going back to our topic when we stop doing natural farming our soil will become degraded which would be hard for it to absorb water and when we stop planting trees and keep doing deforestation we will eventually suffer from soil erosion, floods, landslide, drought, and wildfires. So if you want to conserve our nature and lessen severe natural disaster, stand with us and start practicing natural farming. And we encourage you to plant trees in your area. If you are from the Philippines or somewhere 
else in the world you can start helping our nature by planting at least one tree in your area and we need more natural farmers because our beneficial microorganisms need our help to conserve them um, and multiply their colony and when that happens it will be easier for us to grow food naturally we are finally at our farm extension guys and we will let roku have his bath because it's very hot So this tree got damaged by the typhoon that hit our um, province. Not just our province, but also other provinces in the Philippines. And the usual tree that gets damaged during typhoons are actually bananas. I'm back here at our farm and as you can see the wind is so strong and later on we will clean our farm because the typhoon will leave today according to the weather forecast and we'll see if ever the weather will come down then we will start cleaning our farm and our chickens are also affected because our eggs um, harvest the word also so that's the challenge during this kind of weather it is still a bit windy guys but what we can do is start pruning this bitter gourd that we planted on a sack and it's growing very good as you can see there are a lot of fruits it's a bitter gourd perfect to be cooked with egg next time we will show you how we cook this bitter gourd oh, it so growing in a sack is also recommendable but make sure that you are using a good compost so right here we are going to prune the suckers of our bitter gourd plant so this is the sucker guys this one So that's all for today's video guys. We just want to influence more people to do natural farming so we can somehow help our nature heal and prevent severe natural disasters because if we will not start, who will?